France is a country of fine arts and sophisticated cuisine. For centuries, French masterpieces have been inspiring many generations of art amateurs. Everything that relates to France, be it painting, literature, or even building ships, is always elegant and beautiful. However, any process of creation implies many years of hard work and constant improvements to achieve the ideal. That's the true French spirit. De Grasse wasn't an exception. She was designed in the mid-1930s as part of the further development of the light cruiser La Galissonniere, and was finally built in the 1950s as an anti-aircraft ship. Notably, during World War II, she could become a German aircraft carrier. De Grasse is an Aramis of World of Warships. Light, quick, and extremely dangerous. This Tier VI cruiser is an alternative version of its sister La Galissonniere. In the game, she appears in her initial modification that was planned by the engineers. The in-game ship was designed according to plans that survived the last century, because even the most daring projects can be brought to life in World of Warships. The French cruiser is equipped with three turrets, with nine 152mm guns. Guns of this caliber aren't outstanding for a Tier VI ship, but they can boast a high rate of fire and deliver decent damage. However, you should get used to the ballistics. The firing range of our Musketeer's main guns is comfortable enough – 16.2 kilometers, allowing you to fire from a long distance without the need to approach enemy ships. Only the German Nuremberg and Soviet Budyani can boast better characteristics. The main feature of the French cruiser's armament is the speed of its gun turret rotation. Additionally, de Grasse is very maneuverable, and the engine boost, which is a national feature of French ships in the game, will deliver additional speed for our hero. The perfect maneuverability will also help de Grasse dodge enemy aviation attacks. Of course, like any light cruiser, she is equipped with AA guns, but you can only rely on them while among your allies and using the defensive fire consumable. A lonely French cruiser will become easy prey for a skilled captain of an aircraft carrier. Torpedoes on all Hugos and Voltaire's compatriots from Tier 5 to Tier 10 have equal characteristics, making a strong argument against battleships and an unpleasant surprise for destroyers and cruisers lurking in smoke. In terms of upgrades, we recommend that you follow standard procedures for light cruisers, focusing on the ship's firepower and survivability. The same applies to commander perks. Incoming fire alert will warn you about incoming shells. Adrenaline rush will help you destroy enemy ships when you have little HP and the battle is coming to an end. Finally, Demolition Expert will allow you to deliver additional damage by setting your opponents on fire. The remaining commander skill points should be spent on perks that increase the ship's survivability. So, how should you start your first battle on de Grasse? Let's imagine. You're a musketeer and you're standing against knights in heavy armor. Close combat engagement is not what you want. You can't easily pierce a knight's armor with a court sword. Therefore, put it to the scabbard. Get to your musket and spot your opponent's weak points from a safe distance. And don't forget to maneuver. What was Dumas' Three Musketeers motto? One for all and all for one? This phrase perfectly suits our de Grasse. Try to sail along with your allies. It'll allow you to more effectively fight against annoying enemy aircraft, provide support using defensive fire, or spot enemy torpedoes with the help of hydroacoustic search. French cruisers are the most recently introduced ships in our game. However, some of them can effectively compete with real veterans. Looking at de Grasse, you realize that she will work well in the company of such player favorites as Cleveland, Nuremberg, Badiani, Leander, and others. And don't be fooled by the cruiser's elegance. The poetic Aramis also lulled his opponents with his unassuming appearance, a surprisingly formidable enemy. À la guerre, comme à la guerre, commanders. 